What's up everybody on YouTube? It's Chad with Chad's House of Cards. On today's episode, we got ourselves a Jabs Family Patreon box. So, kind of excited because that means I get to open up a lot of baseball. Um, I did not get in on any of the releases, the new ones, for like Don Ross and stuff like that. But, I will tell you, the other day... Like most days, I go out and I check out the Target website, and they had 2021 Heritage Blasters for sale on the website at normal retail price, which is nice. Um, so I bought three of those because that's the limit on the website. So I got those coming in the mail, so I'm kind of stoked up about that. I didn't have to go to a store. I didn't have to like stand in the line. I didn't have to deal with scalpers. I just ordered it right online and it was there every once in a while <clears throat> if you go out to target website you can get lucky and you can get in on some of those things that get released so that's pretty cool i mean i'm not like a huge tops heritage fan but at the same time like i'm always looking for new product to check out um my store has not stocked sports cards this entire week which is really weird um but pokemon you know, they have been. So I don't know if something happened to their stock. I don't know if somebody, another employee bit the dust or something. But hopefully, um, they get some in. Today, actually, my youngest kid and his mom were out shopping looking for um, baseball stuff for his, for his baseball season coming up um, for the year. And they're actually looking to get bats and stuff like that. We're trying to find the right drop and the right everything for the bat so it's not illegal i always do this wrong i always do this wrong um so yeah you know they're checking the normal stores and then they went to like walmart and target and stuff like that and i swear like these kids this kid is so lucky like he walked into a walmart found the new the newest pokemon the 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 battle styles or whatever um so he got that or he didn't he didn't grab it he was just oh no it was actually vivid voltage and he's like oh sweet dad and he calls me up all excited i'm like cool you're gonna get some and he's like no not this time i'm like all right and then he calls me from a target store that they went to and he finds all the new pokemon it like stocked up galore and they had like don ross optic football megas and all this stuff well, here, the lady was stocking, and I'm like, are you, is there, like, a big line? He's like, there's no line. And I'm like, well, that's weird. And uh, it turns out they started a virtual line, finally, near us in Minnesota. So all the stuff I'm hearing about from other YouTube channels and other YouTubers, it has started. Um, so if they wanted to put their name on the list, they would already be number 17. And I'm like, oh, my God, I hope this does not happen down where I am. I really, really hope that it does not go that far. Because basically, if you have a job, you're not going to get on that list. And you, you're you done. You're done buying sports cards, basically. Because every single morning, scalpers are going to be there to sign up. And that's all it's to it. And unless if you, you know, if you have a job, you're going to work in the morning, chances are. You're not going to be able to get on that list. <clears throat> but then he went to another Target. And again, they had Tops 2021. I told him just hold back. We have we have enough of Tops 2021, and you know, obviously, I just got these two blasters too from Jabs, but I mean, and it's plentiful out there. I feel like I feel like it's not impossible to find, and I still really love the product. I know people are dogging on it a little bit, but you know, I've been getting pretty lucky with the rookies for sure. Really lucky with the rookies, but getting parallels and things like that are different. You know, short prints and stuff. I just think Tops is fun. But he found a whole bunch of new Pokemon there too, and there was no list, there was nothing, and it's literally about five miles down the road from the other target, it seems like. So, I don't know. He ended up grabbing some, but like three for three on stores and finding cards in every single store. I'm like, I don't know how you do it. I go up towards the Twin Cities area, and I can't ever find anything. All right, enough with my rambling. Two blaster boxes of 2021. 2020 update... Um, tops obviously it's a cello pack i don't know i don't know if that's a hobby pack or not um maybe the box said nope the box did not say six newer packs one fat pack and one new blaster box 
We got 2020 archives. We got the Diamond Kings 2019. 2021 uh, top series one. We'll put that with that. How about how about we do that? We got Heritage 2019. We got Holiday 2020. And 2020 series two. Pretty sweet, honestly. All right. Well, I'm gonna go like this. Yep, that's the order. We're going to start off with Diamond Kings. So yeah, if you guys do not, like on a regular basis, get on the Target website and just go check it out, there is some times that you can get cards. And I'm sure many of you probably already know that, but it was pretty cool. Like, I I don't know. They had those, they still do, I think. They still have them up there. Those 70s, I don't know. Those 70s, I don't remember what the heck they were called. But, um... Those are for sale on the Target website. Dakota Hudson rookie card. Rivera. These are kind of interesting cards. They look kind of like a... Uh, like a painting type of a picture and the texture. I don't know if you can see the texture if I put it at an angle. That's what it kind of reminds me of. This is what the back looks like. Another Panani product, so you don't get the uh, baseball logos, so to speak, but I don't know. Some people are really hung up on that. I'm not. I really, I mean, I love tops, but I really like Panani products too, especially with the football and the basketball. Trevor Hoffman, Harrison Bader. Shin Su Chu. That's a cool card. Let's check out the back of that. Logan Allen rookie card. Javier Biez and Jesus Lazardo rookie card. That's pretty cool. I'm going to put him back here. We'll open up the Topps Heritage 2019 next. Alright. I've got to start using this trash can down here. This room is getting to be ridiculous again. Alright. Jameson Taylor. Tom Seaver and Mac Schreiser, Scherzer. Then a now card. David Bate. Brandon Lowe, Michael Perez, rookie stars. There's Irving Santana for the Minnesota Twins. And a David Price. All right, on to the holiday. Now, of course, we will be paying close attention for any possible short prints in these because there was short prints a plentiful. Matthew Boyd, Walker Bueller. So far, not seeing anything. Sam Hillard. Glabar Torres, Max Brid. So I don't think any short prints in that. Um, I do have the complete set of Holiday. So, but I like I like opening it. It was hard for me to find that this year. I don't I don't find a lot at Walmart ever. Um, Target is kind of my go-to. All right. We're flip-flopping. There's some McGuire. 
Zach Greinke, Jordan Alvarez rookie card. That one's an okay one. Aaron Judge. Pete Alonzo, Griffey Jr., Jared Dyson, Justin Verlander, getting into the good stuff. Okay, this one is numbered out of 299, and it is a black border. Nick Madrell, Madrell, rookie. We'll put that back there just because it's the black border. I'm sure it's not like anything huge, but. Pretty cool. Smoltz. Murray. You got your Acuna Jr. Um, all right. Taylor Ward. Just kind of flying through a little fast. All right. So none of the big or bigger rookies. I know that the people dog on update, but I uh, I was kind of I've been I've been opening up megas and stuff like that throughout time, and just really kind of honing in on our Randy cards. Aero Zarini or Zarina, Randy Arozarina. So hoping that he continues to blow up into this season. Started saving off some of those because you never know. You never know. Didn't have to pay any secondary prices on them. Straight up pulls from packs. So that's always nice. All right, we got our 2020 Series 2. Will Smith. Flippin'. This one is probably numbered, yeah. Out of 2020, 993. It's got the, uh, I don't know what you want to call it, the gold border? I'm not really sure. Alright. Nothing too huge in that pack either. Alright. I guess we're going to dive into 2021. I'm sure you guys have seen enough of that. Looks like we got a die cut card or something in here. Flipping it. John Lester. There's the juniors. Alright, Johnny Bench. Pretty cool. I don't know if I have that one yet. Definitely going after the 52 sets. Tommy Edmund. Joey Gallo. Okay. I'll put these off to the side, actually, right next to where I broke open a couple hangers the other day. I really... I don't know. I don't know what you're going to... You know... If you're a Topps fan, if you like the Topps 2021, even if you don't, I guess, what's your favorite um, style of product to open off of the Topps? So far, mine has been the hanger boxes. If I was going to be totally honest, I think I've pulled more... Um, autographs and different parallel cards out of the hanger boxes than 
I don't know. I even bought a hobby box. I only bought one, but I've definitely pulled better cards out of the hanger box, and it's more bang for your buck. I mean, it's 67 cards. I don't know. If you're set building, like I was, I really feel like that's the way to go. The mega boxes are nice, too. I mean, that's a lot of cards for, you know, for trying to fill the set right away. All right, here's one of those 70 years of tops cards. Pretty cool. I haven't. I don't think I've seen them all yet. Cody Bellinger, 52. That's nice. There's a Joey Bart and a Dylan Carlson. Of course, they usually come back to back, um, which is pretty slick because those are two of your key rookies that you are looking for in this series, at least I think. I don't know. I haven't watched too much of spring training yet, so I don't know how everybody's actually doing quite yet. Looks like we got uh, something coming up. Probably, yeah. These are kind of few and far between when you get these. You really want a key player on one of those, I'm going to guess. J.D. Martinez, 52. Okay. I'm going to set these over with the other 2021. Zoom through these a little bit faster. One Soto. There's a nice one. 86 Dylan Carlson. Put them right there. There's another good one. Mike Trout, 52. Trevor Bauer. So, so far, two Dylan Carlson's out of this one blaster box. That's not bad. I almost threw that wrapper on the ground. All right. And, of course, we are... I've been zooming so fast, I never think about it, but we are looking for short prints. And I can't guarantee that they will always be upside down. Look at this parallel coming up. Hmm. All right. This is getting to be a pretty decent box, I think. Bo Bichette, Bo Burrows. Chris Bullock. Our 52 card is Blake Snell. And let's see who this is. Mike Yastrzemski. That is pretty cool. Out of 199. I don't uh, recall what those ones are even called. Um, it's so much easier to get on the website um, and look by... Uh, what number they're out of versus looking at the odds because you're looking at the odds and you about go blind trying to or cross-eyed trying to figure it out but yeah i'm not sure looking at this i'd have to go on the cardboard connection and see which parallel that actually is called and i'm sure i'll update the video with prices and i'll put in the description right here what it's called but many of you probably already know what it is i'm just not very familiar i don't hit a whole lot of parallels a lot of times because i usually get the retail stuff and <clears throat> it seems like they're pretty far and few between slam diego all right pete alonzo stars in the service the 52 garrett cole next 
pack. Come on. Man, I don't... Oh, well, that's probably one of those cards that freaks everybody out thinking they got an autograph or something. I was like, what do we got, a hot box here or something? Like, what the heck is going on? But I'm guessing it's one of those tops ha-ha moments. Yep. Oh my god, check it out! Oh my god, it actually feels thick. Nope, it was just a 52 card behind it. So, David Ortiz, through the year tops, put this on eBay for about 300 bucks. No, I'm just kidding. Clayton Kershaw, 52 design. Nothing too spectacular there. Last pack out of the first blaster. Bryce Harper. Pete Alonzo. Joey Gallo. 86 design. 52 design of Chris Bryant. Ian Hip. Joey Votto. Jordan Alvarez. Nico Horner. And the anniversary patch which some people are fans of and some people aren't, or just George Brett. That's pretty cool. I don't know if I'm going to try to get all of these or not. I haven't decided yet. I don't have a lot of them. So that's why I'm kind of like, eh. It's already like, I mean, you got so many inserts that you're going after if you want to try to do that. I mean, I got the base set down. The inserts are obviously what keeps me opening up the packs to try to get the inserts at this point it might be cheaper just to go online and buy the inserts <laughs> but what's the fun in that right you want to keep ripping through stuff and you never know what you're going to end up with you just don't know it's the chase it's the chase that gets me I like the excitement of it. I mean, like, even that card. That card's pretty sweet. It might not be worth anything. I don't care. It's just kind of cool that you pulled that out of a retail pack. All right. Dab on. 86 design. Another 52 trout. Spencer Howard. So that first blaster, not a bad blaster, really. I mean, got a few key, key rookies and got a few inserts. That's all you can expect. Sometimes you don't even get that. Josh Donaldson, come on. It's a Soto. That was a Eloy Jimenez, Freddie Freeman, all right. Another 70 years of tops. Yep. Cody Bellinger. That's a pretty cool one. I definitely don't have that one yet. Garrett Cole, 52 design. Oh, wow. 
Wow. Okay, so let me look back at these boxes. Maybe this isn't so huge. Wow, these are just normal blaster boxes, right? We got another parallel in here. But I'm not... I mean, this just looks like normal retail. I don't see anything on the box that says, hey, get exclusive red or orange par or red parallels or something on the box. But there is definitely another one in here. I don't know. I don't get them inside my Target blasters. Well, this one's an orange. So it is different. What the heck? What the heck, guys? All right. Two pretty decent blasters. Let's hope for a big name. Sorry, I'm out of frame. Let's hope for a big name here. All right. Clinton Kershaw. What do we got? Kansas City. Rookie. Edward Olivars. And this is out of two ninety nine. I don't know. It might be just part of the old jabs luck or something. I don't pull that I mean back to back boxes with numbered parallels. That's pretty cool. Alright, here we go. Looking for some key rookies now. Every time I come across those two cards, I always shake my head because I look forever for those two. Vladimir Guerrero. There's the Christian Pache rookie card. Here comes our gold card, numbered out of 2021. Buster Posey. Austin Hayes. Aaron Judge. Alright. Last pack. Looks like my son is just getting home with his Pokemon adventure. Stars of the Service, Aaron Judge. And for the patch card, Frank Thomas. All right, everybody. Thanks for watching. Have a great night.